Hello again from Fox News in Washington. The president promised by the end of November the problems plaguing healthcare.gov would be fixed. And a new administration report released this morning cites, quote, dramatic progress. But does that mean the website to enroll in Obamacare is fully functional? And what about the larger program? We'll have a fair and balanced debate between two experts in a moment. But first, we turn to Fox News correspondent Peter Ducey for the latest. Peter. Chris, federal officials promised that healthcare.gov would work smoothly for a vast majority of users starting today. But that has not been the case so far because this morning, the critical verification system is unavailable. That's the system that confirms identities and makes sure people are receiving proper coverage information. And applications cannot be submitted without this important step. The site says this particular problem should be solved within 24 hours. And there's another error much earlier in the process as well. When the site asks if an insurance agent or navigator is assisting you with your application, after clicking that none of these people are offering any guidance, the next screen incorrectly displays a message declaring the opposite. The banner says, you've told us another person is helping you. Furthermore, an address associated with healthcare.gov has sent several erroneous emails this morning with an alert suggesting that logging in at the website will reveal a new message. However, no message ever appeared. Officials have said November 30th was not a magical relaunch date for healthcare.gov and that like any site, they predict there will be times moving forward when it does not perform 